Have a band aid because I scraped my knee when I fell for you. Get it? Because pickup lines, they're pretty annoying. Hiya, folks, Fruit and Doggy here, talking today about some aggravations and annoyances. And this is certainly not an original complaint by any means. And it is telemarketers. Boy, doesn't that make you excited? Getting phone call, unexpected phone calls from people you don't know trying to sell you something you don't want. Never an enjoyable experience. And I have to, uh, sorry, trying to fix something real fast. Anyways, I think there's a few things about telemarketers that can be especially annoying to me. And what comes to my mind first is the automatic phone calls, the automated telemarketers. And what I find especially annoying is when they call, you answer, and then it disconnects immediately. It doesn't even give you the message. So you put aside anything else you're doing to go answer the phone real fast, take care of it, and it would be poetic justice or I'd say poetic justice if the phone rang on me and the exact same thing happened that I'm talking about, but at least do your spiel, at least try to sell me something or tell me about something, but whatever the program is, whatever this machine is doing, I really hate when it doesn't even give me a message. And, I mean, I would just ignore it and hang up at the first few five seconds anyways, but I at least would maybe feel a little comfortable thinking, oh, well, maybe they won't call again. And what I will certainly admit that just comparing notes to other people and talking to others who get these phone calls, I feel pretty fortunate that I don't get them more often they're pretty infrequent for me, but other people, I've heard that they get recurring phone calls from the same uh, company on a regular basis, and I feel very happy that it doesn't happen to me too often. It's just annoying when it does. And the other type of telemarketer that really annoys me is the one that doesn't listen. Now, I understand you're, do you're just doing your job, you're probably following a script and I can appreciate that 100%. You are basically a form of customer service combined with sales, sales, sales and you have a job to do. And it is a very unpleasant job because as I've already uh, started this video off by saying, nobody really likes these phone calls. So you're starting off on a negative to begin with. And it's such a cultural understanding in our country, in our society, that you're basically just a common theme to trounce upon. You're not as bad as a lawyer, but we'll certainly tarnish and target and make fun of telemarketers all day long. And like I already said, I can empathize with the person who's just trying to do their job, who is merely uh, doing what they're being paid to do. And because they're working with people who probably don't want to talk to them in the first place, they probably do have a pretty set script that they have to follow because they don't want to aggravate, they don't want to step outside of a preset excuse me preset set of lines because those were devised in such a way that maybe in theory want to aggravate people or at the very least the company the business that's paying them to do this can say that it's like hey you follow the script you did what you're supposed to so even if the person got mad at you 
that's not your fault. Just keep calling. But if they were to go freelance, to go off on their own, say their own things, then that person could be held accountable. Well, what did you say? What did you do to make them mad and upset? And that'd be a lose-lose situation. But what annoys me is when, you know, I'm receiving this uh, unsolicited phone call. I don't want to talk to you. I just want to be done. And I try to be reasonably polite because I can understand their position. So I'll be like, hey, you know, I'm, I'm not really interested. I'm, that doesn't appeal to me. That doesn't interest me. I have no desire to do that. And they won't take that no. And I just don't understand, script or not, why you would not listen. Why you would think that if I just keep saying what I've been saying this entire time, and you've already said no to once, well, maybe if I keep plowing right ahead, you'll change your mind. You'll change your tune. You just listen another 10, 20, 30 seconds, however much time I can stretch this out. And yeah, you'll, you'll agree to buy something. And frankly, this is my advice to anybody who is dealing with annoying telemarketers, especially the repeat calls, though this doesn't really apply to the automated side because they're just a machine. But if you keep getting these calls, I do recommend that you progressively get ruder, meaner, and yes, even nastier. And this doesn't mean anything as far as saying anything threatening, saying anything uh, raunchy or crude, lewd, but your tone, your, your intention is to show that you're losing your patience, which you are, and to just put your foot down. It's like, I have, so I'll give an example. So if the phone call is going on too long already, it's like, I will very pointedly say, it's like, I am not interested I do not want to talk to you about this anymore and I don't receive any more phone calls about this. And then I will promptly hang up, shutting the door in their face so they can't try to get out any more words, try and convince me otherwise. And frankly, I don't even want to hear an apology at that point. Not that they would likely be forthcoming with one. I just don't, I just want to put an end to the conversation. So that's the first thing I'll do if to tell Marker is being a little pushy. And if I get subsequent phone calls then i will just keep reinforcing that point it's like i have already said i am not interested in receiving these phone calls and i insist that you take me off this call list then hang up and you know as that keeps happening the tone gets more insistent more demanding and angrier and at some point it will stop because one, it's going to be crystal clear that you're not going to be buying anything from them. So they're barking up the wrong tree and they're wasting their time. And then two, they don't really want to talk to somebody who's angry and upset and shuts them down immediately. Again, they're barking up the wrong tree and they're wasting their time. So that's just my little bit of friendly advice if that is something that comes across your way. And I guess another thing that annoys me about this is that you can put your name onto a do not call list, but I don't know how these systems work, these companies, these businesses. But again, with the stories I've heard and talking to other people, that doesn't stop it entirely. Sometimes it seems as if that did nothing. Pardon me. So that's really something that uh, I'm not on a do not call list as far as I know, but that would drive me crazy. If I specifically put myself on a list where I'm supposed to not receive telemarketing calls and these companies, these businesses were ringing me up anyways, I'd be really frustrated and upset about that. And so I have to wonder if they perhaps kind of reverse engineer it, where they create a list of phone numbers of people you do not call under any circumstances. You know, the president's number, uh, senators, congresspeople, 
uh, police emergency numbers, um, you know, business phone numbers. I could see them compiling a fairly exhaustive list of numbers that you just don't call. And then basically, maybe almost like a random number generator, it would just go to an automatic system and they're going to call any number that shows up that otherwise doesn't make their do not call list. I think it would take a lot of work to generate all those numbers that you want to call, but once you have that, and then as you expand it to include um, disconnected numbers, numbers that are non-existent, over time you would have a list of, you would have a pretty complete list, and then any other number that exists is free game. And... In theory, telemarketing isn't a scam, but, you know, I'm the type of person who I'm never going to buy anything from a telemarketer. I don't care what you're selling. It's unsolicited. I don't know that you're legitimate. If I'm interested in buying whatever you're selling, I'll look it up myself. But that's me. That's my personality. There are people out there who, you know, if they like the spiel that they're hearing, if they like the person on the other end of the line, if they're charming, charismatic. Yeah, I might like that. So tell me more about that. You know, what do you need for me to purchase this? How soon can I expect to get it? And in this day and age, I actually wonder if telemarketers, they just sell it to you through a credit card on the phone? Credit card number through the phone line? Or if they send you a catalog? I'd almost think that'd be a little more sensible, and I think that would be a better sign that it's not a scam. That's one reason I would never buy anything through a telemarketer, is I sure as heck am not giving you my credit card number through the phone. That's uh, Scam Avoidance 101, I would think. But, yeah, telemarketers... Any form of unsolicited contact, unsolicited sales. I would say the door-to-door -door salesman, but that's um, that's pretty much non-existent anymore. At least in my little corner of the world. I am at uh, another situation that's like that is Girl Scouts, Boy Scouts. I've never even encountered either of those before. People going door-to-door -door selling for school events and the ice cream man. Those are about the only types of people I can think of who in the modern world would be door to door anymore. Oh, Jehovah's Witnesses. I have encountered Jehovah's Witnesses a few times. Not sure if that's, I don't know if I'd even really call that an aggravation or an annoyance. Maybe that, I don't, let me rephrase that. I might consider it an aggravation or an annoyance. I don't know if I'd even make a video on it. I don't know. We'll see. Hmm. But anyways, that's been telemarketers and how they drive all of us crazy. Uh, that's everything I can think of on the subject. So thank you very much. And as always, fruit and doggy.